Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com and today I am in the Vallée de Joux, in the heart of Swiss watchmaking. We have a beautiful day out there. We are at the Atelier de Grande Complication, where the big and complicated watches are made. And with me is Mathieu Sauré, who is head of... Product Marketing. Product, and product, product Marketing. Yes. So you are in charge of... I'm in charge of all the um, novelties, all the line of watches at Jager Le Coult, working in close collaboration with all my colleagues here at the manufacturer, development, um, Grande Complication design. So uh, really uh, putting all together uh, a great program of novelties for, uh, for the world to enjoy and to, uh, to discuss with you today. And he's the guy who will talk with me about the Giro 5, the watch we already showed you in the first video at the SIHH. You were very much enjoying it, but today we're going into much more details. In my hands, I have the Giro Tourbillon 5. Can you give me the exact entire name? The Master Grand Tradition Giro Tourbillon Westminster Perpetual. And we are going to jump into some really amazing details of the watch. I know you guys, you have seen the first video we did at the SIHH and many questions were asked and we are going to answer a lot of those questions. There's not only a Giro 5, there has been a Giro 1. When did everything start at Chez Giro In 2004, when uh, we released the first Giro Tourbillon, it was an idea to create probably one of the most precise regulating organ which was ever created. For those who don't understand Giro Tourbillon, can we try to figure out what's happening? We have sure. uh, we have the balance wheel. Uh, we have the silicon. Uh, well, no, we don't. We have a silicon. We have no. a, a regular hairspring, hair and the entire thing is mounted in a cage that is rotating around its axis. Exactly. Is this so correct? it's really two axes. Let's say a tourbillon um, that has two plans. So a first plan which is horizontal, like a regular tourbillon, and this tourbillon is put in another cage that has another plan which is vertical, which enables the, the Giro Tourbillon to rotate in both direction, three-dimensional direction, completely cancelling all the effect of gravity. The balance wheel is never in the same position twice. So this is that phenomenal part? Yes. This Giro was Giro Tourbillon 1. The evolution now to the Giro Tourbillon 5, that, lie, that the movement that is just on the table beside. And the most important thing with the Giro 5, with the Giro Tourbillon mm -hmm. 5, this is you have been miniaturizing yes. it much. For the first time, we have created a Giro Tourbillon with a minute repeater. So associated with a minute repeater, that is not only a simple minute repeater. But we have the two hammers here. Yes, a Westminster minute repeater. So you have two hammers, but below those two hammers that you just saw, Alexander, there are two additional hammers which will uh, come in to um, play the um, Westminster chime. So um, also with the minute repeater is a perpetual calendar. So in order to, um, to uh, create a watch that is still wearable, 43 millimeter, 14 millimeter thick, we have miniaturized all the parts of the, the movement, but also the gyro tourbillon, which still relies on the same um, uh, be Prin actual principles principle yeah. of the Jaro Tourbillon, but has been miniaturized to its uh, smallest essence. I, I think it's obvious. This was the original size exactly. and this is the new size, either, even offering more complications, as you said. Yes. And uh, how, it's not the half, but one third, maybe. We really needed to uh, really make it much smaller, mm. miniaturize really the, the Jaro Tourbillon, so it's now made of around 95 pieces. Um, in a titanium cage. So, We're so ta you're talking about only the Giro Tourbillon cage? Under the Gyro, under the Gyro, okay. only the Gyro. It's the, 90? The 94 parts, 94 yeah. parts. And um, it's an, a cage made of titanium. Yes. And so the, the, the whole device is very light, very small, only 0 0.4 grams um, Once again. light. What, what? 0 0.4 Zero point four grams. Yeah. 96 parts. 96 parts. That's yeah. the rotating cage with the balance wheel. Absolutely. I, I'm trying to imagine how much is 0 0.4 grams. It's we had no comparison. To, we had no try, comparison. Try to figure it's out. So put, light. Put something <laughs> and, and try to figure out how much is 0 0.4 grams. That's almost nothing. That's almost nothing. Yeah. The entire movement is consist consists of how many parts? 1,050 parts. For so the, um, imagine here in this little microcosmos, we have 1,050 parts. 50 yeah. parts. Each of these parts has been 
treatment like crazy to make it look as perfect as possible in terms of watchmaking. Polished angles, everything. Polished angles, everything. Some parts are guillochage, uh, use guillochage, yeah. which is done in our métier art. So uh, really the, the most incredible, some polyplat, some, some polished, some anglage, really all the, 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 everything the savoir faire, everything that's possible in terms of decoration uh, for um, for watchmaking today and all made inside uh, our manufacturer. Okay, so we see the evolution, the Giro Tourbillon 1, the 5, and this is the case where the, what, where the movement then is housed. Fully cased. Fully yeah. cased. Incredible. And the funny thing is, when we look at the movement here, it shows the year 2097. Yes. Would you estimate that the watch in the year 2097 is still running? It should. Oh, let's hope so. Uh, for sure we are. Well, at Giro Le we're creating pieces for for the, the next century, for yeah. eternity to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to work. And this is, um, even though it's uh, very, um, let's say, futuristic and uh, you can 2097. see it in the, uh, 2097. I, I to, yeah, the, 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 watch we, the, 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 the watch that we are talking about, of course, shows 2019, 2019. as it should be. <laughs> um, and, but, the, but the movement, the, uh, let's say, the uncased movement is showing 2097. And this was funny. Actually. Yes. But it's, it may look futuristic and uh, be futuristic with the year 2097, but it's very much classical watchmaking <coughs> in the pure tradition of Gérard Lecoult, but fully reinvented. Let's uh, say, let's it. say, take this kind of, you know, uh, tradition. One generation gives the watch to the next generation. We know that story. When someone buys the watch, gives it to his son and so on. Mm -hmm. And the guy comes uh, to the manufacturer in the uh, year 2099. You will have that little, um, little disc or what? Uh, what yes, what? we keep it safe. For you all have the those? people buying um, every um, single edition of the Jao Tourbillon 5, we keep it uh, very dearly here, and this uh, piece will be uh, replaced. Uh, and there will be two, one, and the watch will continue to run for the next 100 years. For the next 100 years or more. I don't know yeah. when the next uh, uh, service will be, but for the next 100 years or more, yeah. We just saw it working, um, and now let me um, let us explain a little bit to our audience what's happening when we pull at the when we pull out the trig uh, the, the the push button the trigger, yeah. the trigger the, the here that we we uh, push on the trigger then the push button comes out you you uh, you push it down and then the whole thing starts to to chime. chime. Yeah. So really, what we put into this uh, minute repeater is all the savoir-faire of Gérard Le Coultre in sonneries doing sonnery since probably 1880. So 1880. 1880. Okay, all the savoir-faire we have at Gérard Lecoult we put. So you exactly point correct. So in order not to have a um, large um, trigger uh, on the side, we created this uh, this push button mechanism. So you, you, you push the uh, target here you and here. it um, enables the push button to uh, come out and then activate the sonnery. So this is a, a patent, something yeah. we've patented. And then it's not a simple minute repeater, it's a Westminster minute repeater. In a traditional sonnery, there are only two uh, gongs and two hammers playing one for the hour, one for the minutes, and a combination of both to play the quarters. Here there are four, so one for the hour, one for the minutes, and then the two other, they come in and they create the complex melody of the Westminster chime. Each of them, Alexander, I don't, I don't know if you know, but in Big Ben, all these are actually different melodies. There is just m not one melody for the quarter and then the quarter plus another quarter for the half hour. It's always different melodies. So you can understand how complex mm -hmm. the mechanism of such a mini repeater is. The, yeah. the Amers, they're uh, using our trebuchet uh, patterns, so they're, they're not fixed. They're actually attached to a spring, which uh, enables them to uh, really um, amplify the reasoning factor okay. of, the, of the hammer and then the uh, gongs, they are attached to the glass in those two little um, metallic parts here, which enables the sound to get out of the, uh, the case, amplifying much the, the sound. Like a loudspeaker. Like a loudspeaker. Okay. And it also enables our watches, our mini repeater at Le to be waterproof. 
So this watch is waterproof to uh, 50 meters, five bars. That's it. Yeah. More than you need. More than you need. I wanted to mention it anyway, because people say, why are these complicated watches not more waterproof? Uh, they are. In fact, I so it, it, it's are. really a variable watch. It's not only in size a variable watch, but only in reality, because it 30 meters well. would assume that you have to take care when you wash your hands. Yes. But we're not talking bullshit. But we're not no, talking if, you're, if you have 30 meters waterproofness, uh, it's really you have to take care when you wash your hands. Yes. 50 meters is, for such a complicated watch, completely fine to, um, I think so. to wash your hands. And another feature that we have in this Mini Tripita that is also patented is the time-lapse reduction. So you know, in... Um, Mini Jupiter, standard Mini Jupiter, when you chime, for example, one hour and um, five minutes, let's say, you wait a long hours when there is no quarters or when there is no hours um, in between. Here, we completely cancel, uh, thanks to many mechanisms which are patented, mm -hmm. the, the time lapse in order to really play a full melody because if you had many time lapse in between, the melody would not be as uh, coherent yeah, course, yeah. and as beautiful. Uh, and, but and due to the fact how uh, the typical mini repeat is, is made, you have to wait until the mechanism finishes its way to yes. get the next information to Absolutely. restart chiming. We completely cancelled all okay. this, um, Great. In this, uh, in this mechanism. This uh, watch also has, let's say, a beautiful, a beautiful back. Yes. Some watches don't. This, in fact, has. I would probably wear the watch the other way around <laughs> because it's so, <laughs> so beautiful. Would I, so, would I. so what do we see on the backside? So uh, here you see all the mechanisms. So yeah. you see um, the back of the gyro tourbillon, which is yep. uh, showing beautifully uh, through uh, through the back also. Uh, and then there's one parts. specific thing we should also talk about uh, with the gyro tourbillon because you implemented also yes. constant force. Absolutely. So in order to go one step beyond in in, uh, in precision, in our spirit of the art of precision that we have uh, this year at Gégère Le Coultre, we associated the gyro tourbillon for the first time with a constant force mechanism. So a constant force mechanism, it's actually a, a, a secondary hairspring which regulates the energy that goes to the to the to the gyro. You know that um, for watches, both um, obstacle to achieve the perfect precision is gravity on one side and energy on another side. When the um, torque of the power reserve is a bit high at the beginning of the power reserve or a bit low at the end of the power reserve, the, the, the precision of the regulating organ may vary. And with this mechanism of the constant force, it's actually completely canceled. You're delivering always the same always energy. Always the same energy, yes. which is very helpful um, for, for many reasons. It provides the watch actually a jumping minute mechanism. So the minute is, is really jumping because the constant force is set on the minute. And uh, it also enables a greater precision in the minute repeater because the minute repeater is set on the uh, display of the hour and of the minute also. And when uh, you have a, a minute which is almost going to go to the next minute, let's say in the 45 seconds before the next minute, you can um, have some um, in a standard minute repeater, some discrepancies in the, in the, in the timing that is chimed with this um, striking mini repeater, this true mini repeater, this jumping minute, you don't you don't have the uh, the, the problem of the the, the wrong mini repeater when it's between two minutes. Amazing. When the date is, of course, moving along, yes, it will not, of course, intervene or the the, your scenery intervene your scenery because this mm -hmm. is big cinema for the wrist. So when you wear the watch and you see your gyro tourbillon turning all the time, it's like. Uh, it could be uh, relaxing you, you know, get in a Zen modus. You, you like watch. Art. Yes, it's you look at it and you get you calm down. You forget the stress, Ex and the hand that shows the day will never, of course, stop somewhere here. It will, when arriving here, jump, jump. just over, over the gyro. The, over the gyro and continue to show the dates with the 17s here, 18, 18 20, yeah. 19, and so on. So it's 15, 16, and when we are uh, reaching. The 17th each month, it will jump right over the gyro tourbillon. Yes, and nice this watch. Nice little hint. Nice uh, little hint, and uh, this and this watch uh, has also a nice little uh, addition. 
the puppet calendar is able to be set frontward but also backward which is also something very uh, useful so if you if you correct you have the correct and you go through the crown uh, the character is just at 12 here you can yeah. see the correct over there so you can go frontward with the character and if you go one day further which can happen if yeah. you correct a lot uh, if you push with the, too quick with the crown you can go back okay um, when setting one day. the watch okay. so also um a very wearable pieces and we we thought about the client uh when we uh, we created this device which is very helpful to uh to be able to go one day uh, backward so guys after presenting you this marvel i have to say marvel isn't it it's a marvel i think you can say marvel yeah. i think it's we have to also mention the price, and this could be the flaw of the watch for some of us, including me, you, and Perhaps. maybe also my cameraman. The price is 800,000 Swiss francs. No, euros. 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 Without tax. So I live in Austria. 20% VAT added on top makes 160. On top makes 960,000 euros. Jesus Christ. Um, Mathieu, thank you very much. No, thank you, Alexander. It was a pleasure. Thank you for all the details you gave me. Thank you very much. Um, this marble, uh, I'm almost holding one million in my hand. Oof, I'm nervous. No, I'm not nervous. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your interest. If you, has, if you have any questions about this marble, the Giro, give me the exact name once again before we... The Master Grand Tradition Giro Tourbillon Westminster Perpetuel. If you have any questions about this watch you just mentioned, please use the comment section just underneath here. Ask me and I will be more than happy to answer you. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course to like our videos.